America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot. We're losing our democracy! More inflation. What a stupid sound. Wake up! Before we get into that, let's get in to this. How's it going, you guys? Welcome to the Liberty Bowl. Back with uh, the old Liberty Swine here. And uh, we're going to be uh, talking about fucking oh ye. What's going on with the fucking the old ye West, <laughs> formerly known as, as Kanye. You, know, you don't, don't want to dead name him, okay? But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be talking about... It's formerly known. Right. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be talking about uh, pretty much that. What what's going on with all that with like, with uh, you know Kanye with with Milo with um, Nick Fuentes Alex Jones Tim Pool, pretty much, I mean uh, Trumpsicles fucking you know pretty much we're gonna be uh, kind of breaking this whole fucking thing down and getting our our uh, you know theories and opinions on it. It's gonna be a gonna be a hell of a show, man. So how you doing today, hell. man? Doing damn good, bro. How about yourself? All right, man. I'm fucking chilling. Just had me some some bomb ass meatloaf. Ready to fucking go. Hell yeah. I'm out here uh, basically enjoying the show. Um, like I said, I, I haven't, I didn't watch the entire Alex Jones uh, interview, but uh, I'm enjoying seeing everybody's reaction for sure. Uh, <laughs> no matter how outlandish the uh, culmination of, of the reason, right. you know, the, the smoke pouring out of ears is definitely uh, got to be comparable. All right. <laughs> well, uh, originally what we were originally going to talk about, uh, we were, you know, talking earlier today was, um, you know, uh, whether or not, uh, yay staged the entire thing with the, the walkout at Tim pool, because that was what the, uh, you know, the whole thing was about. And then, uh, you know, as we're talking about it, fucking pop-up comes up, you know, fucking he's, he's over there talking with Alex Jones, right? Motherfucking meow. Like, and, uh, <laughs> I, I actually did watch the whole thing. I recorded it all. I'm going to keep that motherfucker archived on my computer, uh, as long as can, as long as I can, you know, it is on bit shoot. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, make sure I throw the link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty intense, man. It's super, uh, he, he went all out. He really went all out, man. The, the clips I saw, man, he, he's, uh, he's pretty out there. You, you wonder if he's all right sometimes. Right. Right. <laughs> But uh, all right, man. So it's it's the Liberty Bowl. So here we go, you guys. Go ahead and pack your bowls before we get into that whole fiasco. Let's go ahead and get into this. <coughs> it. Did you happen to check out any of uh, that that Liberty Lockdown debate that I sent you? Yeah, yeah, I did, <laughs> dude. Yeah, like, that guy was a moron, though. Right, man. like like he kept saying, like we're just going in circles. I've already explained this to you, man. <laughs> right, you right. know, he, like he broke it down to the simplest form, and dude could not grasp grasp the the uh, the tenets of private property, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, it's <laughs> nothing nothing to do with this episode. Just we were, I was uh, just watching that you know, live, you know, just before we started recording, and. Uh, Oh my god! I'll, I'll I'll throw the link to that one in, in the description as well. Do that if you guys uh, dude, it's complete fucking epic, complete fucking spanking, fucking. It's like fucking watching Tyson fight a fucking infant, dude. It's it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. it's uh, it's how I remember speaking to my children when they were pretty little, man. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, but but then how is that going to make them feel? What do you mean? <laughs> but but uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about Kanye. So first off, there was the, um, you know, the whole thing with Tim Pool. You know, uh, he went on Tim Pool. It was a, a obviously, you know, kind of controversial. I guess uh, Tim said it was it was kind of a last minute, too. He just kind of like, you know, hey, you know, we're, we're in town. You mind if we drive by and shit kind of or something like that? And uh, so... Yeah, the the whole thing with Tim Pool is uh he's he's thinking now that it was a uh, you know they staged the whole thing you know so so what what's your thoughts on that one man? It almost seems so, doesn't it? It almost seems like he's just trying to burn the fucking place down, like right. he, like you know what I mean? 
like like he he's already lost everything and made such you know a pariah of himself that you know he's taking it out on others, man, and he's just traveling around like trying to get everybody removed as he goes. Uh, I mean, it's pretty <laughs> insane, up. <All> right. <laughs> so uh, I guess um you know Tim really wanted to kind of avoid the whole uh you know anti-Semitism thing, or at least maybe put it off till the end or something like that, and was really just trying to. Uh, get to the bottom of the dinner with Trump, which of course, you know, is the, the dinner that, you know, heard around the fucking world. So Trump had dinner with invited Kanye to dinner. Kanye shows up with Milo and Nick Fuentes, um, Milo Yiannopoulos and, uh, Nick Fuentes. And, uh, it's, it's starting a, a large, large, um, uh, backlash for for the old Trumpsicles. I mean, uh, what was it fucking old, old Mitch saying fucking he's out of the Republican Party and shit, right? Like, right. Yeah, he's saying there's no room for any anti Semites or people that take meetings with anti Semites. So yeah. First, let me just say that there is no room in the Republican Party for anti Semitism or white supremacy. And anyone meeting with people advocating that point of view, in my judgment, are highly unlikely to ever be elected president of the United States. Yeah, I mean that's that's some pretty uh, pretty intense backlash, you know. I mean, of course, fucking old Mitch, he's a establishment, you know. He doesn't he doesn't want fucking Trump in the party in the first place, you know. This really could just be kind of the excuse or whatever to. I can get rid of the old Trump schools, but uh, so I mean uh, you know that's it's a uh, you know kind of a was it a setup in order to to do that you know because as we know you know Milo isn't too happy with the old Trump schools, you know, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and apparently uh neither neither is Kanye you know I mean uh, Kanye did say you know he does support Trump stuff like that he does admire him and stuff but he does uh you know I got this little clip here. And uh, I'll go ahead and play in just a second, but he does kind of allude that, you know, Trump really kind of did talk bad about him. You know, did Trump really did kind of turn his back on Kanye. And, you know, he says that, you know, I get it. He's a politician, this and that. But, you know, you know, you know he's, he probably took it a bit personal, you know. I'm on Trump's side. Trump said things that hurt me. He lied about me, but I mean, he's known for lying. And when people used to tell me that, you know, he's a liar, it's like, you know, I went into the trenches for Trump. That's another conversation. There was no one in my position that wore that hat. And all of my surroundings exhausted me. It was like death by a thousand questions. I know I'm jumping to another thing. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I know you got a rep for your 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 people online, but it's no, like no, you no, got no. a person in real life that no. I I'm not with it, bro. I lost the I, I lost the money for the freedom of speech. And that's what makes me the only American that we know that really deserves to run the country because everyone else your boy DeSantis Trump whoever <laughs> they 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 raise in a petri dish over on the Democrat side is is going to play the game yeah I'm sure he did I mean you know you remember he went out for Trump and uh, got through under the bus obviously this isn't his first go around with being stomped on and that was uh w w one of one of the first <laughs> yeah yep and uh, so, yeah, there, there's that whole uh, idea that, you know, that could have been a setup. So I'm pretty sure that's what uh, Tim really kind of wanted to, to get to the bottom of. And um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what they would have against Tim or um, I, I don't I don't really know what the whole uh, why going on Tim cast staying for 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, and, and according to Tim, it was pretty cordial, you know, during the, the pre-show, you know, when they were just hanging out, talking. And then as soon as the cameras, you know, turned on, he's. I'm, I'm yay now, you know, then it just, you know, yeah. the, 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 they, them's this, which that's the new term for the Jews. Yeah. I, I think, I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who is they though? We can't Cor say who they is, can press. we? press. I'm not using the, I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking about. It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because, <laughs> no. and, and because when you think <laughs> about not. it, consider it. Fair <laughs> right. watch yourself, man. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> So uh, it it does it kind of uh, gets to you know the point where um you know uh, Tim's you know trying to you know spit back just a little bit you know like ask him a couple questions and Ye can't handle it you know fucking gets Tim gets like maybe two questions in and you know Ye like nope 
<laughs> yeah. And, and then uh, grabs a handful of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, and then, of course, the other uh, thing that Tim's saying is that, you know, yay, Milo and Fuentes had a, uh, a private jet, you know, just ready to go within the hour. You know, and uh, of course, Tim, uh, the Tim cast is several hours of, of a show. You know, it's not like a little, you know, hop in 30 minutes and, you know, get out type thing. It's a it's a you're going to be there for a few hours, you know, so. And, and, and according to Anam, you're you're locked in or locked out for the entirety. So. Right. And you're in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So. Uh, so there, there's that whole thing, you know, and it's it, I mean, of course, there is the fact that the these three people you know, between them, I'm pretty sure have more than enough money to be able to walk up to any pilot and say, you got a plane ready to go. Let's get the fuck out of here. You know? So there's that, the whole, uh, the hot plane or the, the hot crew, um, you know, theory that maybe, you know, they just went up. Cool. Someone's got a plane. Here's some money. Let's get out of here. You know? Uh, but then, you know, there's the theory that maybe, uh, they, they planned it all, you know? So, so yeah, what? I'm sure, I'm sure they didn't fly to the middle of nowhere without plans. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, for the publicity stunt, all, right? Any publicity is good publicity. And, um, you know, he's trying to get a springboard for his uh, some some sort of revenge, announcing, you know, his run for presidency and whatnot. And, uh, you know, current shit happening. I, I don't see, you know, why it wouldn't happen. And really, all three of them have that chip that they uh, they want to take revenge on, you know, the, the, the social world. <laughs> right. Really. Yeah. So, what do you think would be the the point of them going on on Timcast though? Like, what, what do you think? Because he's blowing the... up. It, it's it's on the rise, and you know he obviously had some way to contact him. You know what I mean? So he probably thought it was an easy in. I mean, just like Alex Jones. I mean, I, I believe it was. Uh, you know, this is you see the the, the storm around him. You know, as, as a content creator, why wouldn't you have him on? I mean, I'm sure Alex Jones probably got more views today than he's gotten and. A couple years you know what i'm saying right well that's that's the other thing too that um dude, it's he literally out alex jones alex jones dude like i said i watched the whole thing <laughs> alex jones is dude alex jones looks uncomfortable <laughs> through the entire fucking thing dude like the entire fucking time he, he's just like dear god what have i gotten myself into <laughs> talk about nazis i mean we're, we're, we're gonna have netanyahu step out for a second okay alex oh he's gonna go for now until until it's another meeting and then i'm gonna say something all right you're not only an artist you're a comedian but but nick that's what i'm getting at here is is that (laughs) is 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 that it was a uh it just it doesn't matter i I just i mean there's listen there's fluoride in the water killing us all they're injecting us with gmo (laughs) (laughs) fuck yeah right and uh alex jones obviously the king of fucking controversy and he's, uh, I don't know about this one. You know, like, <laughs> you know, that's because you know, like he testified in court. You know, Alex Jones. It's a character, man. Right. You know what I mean? That, that's his, that's his showman character. And uh, you know, old Kanye over here. He he might have thought the same thing, bringing him in. And then once he gets in there and start opening his mouth, he's like, "What the fuck, dude?" You know right. what I mean? I've right. already did. I've already been depersoned, dude. Now you're trying to get me killed, son. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> So, uh, yeah, fucking one of the, the obvious big highlights that everyone's going to be talking about is um, uh, Kanye's um, views toward Hitler and the Jews and his undying love for both of them. Go, go ahead and check out the clip here. This it was a uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Wait a second. The, the so-called crime doesn't deserve the punishment. What did I, I thought? That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler. Also, the Jew I love everyone, and Jewish people are not going to tell me you can love, um, you know, us, and you can love what we're doing to you with the contracts, and you can love what we're you know what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician. You can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good, and I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. 
How about that one? Ari Emanuel, how you like that one? Hey, Ron, you going to do anything to fix Chicago? Right? So, <laughs> yeah. pretty, pretty. He loves uh, everybody, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> man, he's just all about love, man. So, he does spend uh, the majority of of this show uh, getting really, really uh, biblical and super, super Bible thumper with it, you know? And uh, I, don't, I don't know. It... Like I said, he he went all out. He did not hold back one bit. You know, it's I I obviously can't show a whole bunch of Alex Jones clips on YouTube because it's YouTube. But um, yeah, it's it's he gets pretty biblical and he goes into like a like a whole five minute prayer that you know somebody sent him or something like that, and uh, it, it gets pretty. Dude, there's actually this part. Um, this is I don't know if you saw it, but him talking with the the Netty Yahoo. They are going to have to listen up. What we did is we brought Netanyahu with us. Ah. <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm in the twilight zone right now. Netanyahu, what do you have to say? What do you have to say to Alex Jones right now, Nick Fuentes and Ye? It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Ye. Okay. I had no idea your voice is going to sound like that, Netanyahu. So you don't like Benjamin Netanyahu? <laughs> I just, I, I just heard about this guy two weeks ago since so like the tweet, and I thought he had a funny name. I heard he's like really into like he's like a super killer. I could die for saying this. So in case this is the last time you ever hear from me. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> he brought out. A, yeah, a absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah insane man right dude <laughs> it's, the dude it's, is gone bro <laughs> yeah it's, it's clearly a breakdown right it's it's clearly yeah, emo emotionally unstable at the least dude and um in in need of some medical care at, right you know, dude at, my, at the most like my favorite people are the people out there like dude you guys just don't understand him kanye kanye knows what he's doing dude he's playing 5d chess right now and he's fucking <laughs> fooling all you guys like Dude, no, he's not. <laughs> Just because he announced himself, I'm a genius. You know, back then, he's not a genius. Like he's he's prone to to pressure, just like everyone else. And you know, uh, it was just announced the other day that uh, you know, he's gonna be having to pay 200k a month in child support. <laughs> like Jesus, dude. Redonkulous, not man. not to mention instantly overnight losing two billion dollars to over over his political views you know and um it's i don't know it's like i said honestly the like the th the shit that they did with alex jones the shit that they're doing right now with kanye you know nobody fucking deserves that you know it's it's obviously cruel and unusual i mean people are entitled to think that the, the way that they want you know if you don't like what somebody has to say turn them off that's it's that simple you know but uh i don't know it's the world the, the america that we live in is devolving rapidly yeah, and it's not just all that. It's literally that freedom of speech is the cornerstone of 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 a liberty minded society. I mean, you know, if if you believe in private property, if you believe in self defense, I mean, you know, yada yada, then you damn sure well better support free speech. And the whole idea is to say something that other people find abhorrent. And regardless if it's right, wrong, whether you agree or disagree, that person has the right to say that bullshit. All right. You know, there, there is no such thing as wrong think. There's, there's always that, that, uh, you know, everlasting right that you're always safe in here. You could always think whatever you want, man. But they're, they're obviously slowly trying to take that away. You know, that's, it's been a, the people in power's, you know, greatest fear is loss of power. Their uh, ultimate desire is total gain, is a uh, total control over the, over the masses. So I mean, if they're able to control you up here, yeah, they're, they're more than happy to do that. You know, and it's a, uh, it's. You know, Milo does actually make a good point here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. The black vote. So it's okay to put us in one net, but it's not okay for me to put them in one net. Yeah, but I mean, 
That's the basis I, I, of the hypocrisy that people have been <laughs> have been thinking about and knowing about and realizing for decades. We were all wondering how this dam was going to break. Everybody in the country was wondering, what, what is the root of this hypocrisy? Why can people talk about white people a certain way? Why can't they talk about that group a certain way? And uh, the, the, the most the, the, the wretched and wicked and oppressive prevailing orthodoxy of uh, cancel culture, well, it turned out that the one thing that was going to break the dam was the biggest star in the world. And it took the biggest star in the world to do it. Um, uh, and, and and now the dam is broken. All right. So he basically just says, you know, something had to break, you know, something had to happen. And it took somebody like Kanye coming out and pointing out these big, you know, things like, why can't you say, why can't you have a certain opinions about certain people? Why can't you believe what you want to believe? You know, why, you know, why are you allowed to say the black vote, but you can't say the Jewish, you know, the Jews, you know, like why, like, and he really kind of, he does make. Yeah, I guess some people would say some fair points, you know, this whole uh, identitarianist type, you know, shit that we have going on here. The fact that they try to break you down into little boxes like, OK, what what's your race? OK, what's your gender? All right. What's your, you know, uh, political ideology? What's what's your uh, religious background? You know, where uh, they this they try to break you down into small little cubes because that's that's uh, the way that they gain control is through division, you know? I, I actually just before we started recording, I just read a quote from Thomas Sowell, and it was uh, the, the liberals are are turning e pluribus unum from many one into the exact opposite. And like you just said, their their goal is segregating it down to the most minuscule of you know possibilities. You know, right. down to the your skin, you know, your political views, your religious views, and so on and so forth. Like you just said, and uh, man, it's it's absolutely disgusting. And obviously. Those aren't achievable without removing liberties first, man. Right. Yeah. Really. That's that's the the enemy of the the left hand fucking political sphere. You know, it's a they <laughs> yeah. they, they have to uh, I guess destroy the idea of individual. You know, you have to be you're part of your community. You're part of this group of people. You're part of group A. You're part of group B. They want to take away your name and give you a number. You know. Yeah, resistance is futile, bro. All right. It's uh it's for real. We got board mind out here. Yep. So uh what do what do you think to the I don't know, there, so there's people out there putting out the the whole idea that, you know, obviously Kanye is in a very bad, you know, space mentally. Nick Fuentes is just Nick Fuentes and at the same time, you know, he has been deplatformed for quite a while you know and you know this is the first time people are showing him attention again so of course you know he's seems like he's just pretty much like i'm just happy to be anywhere you know like in, <laughs> in, a, in both interviews because uh, he he is also there on the the alex jones show as well but uh he only says you know a couple of things the, the majority of it is just you know it's obvious spotlight on kanye and um you know nick fuentes is really just kind of I'm I'm just, you know, really Nick Fuentes is being kind of used as a as a pawn. You know, he's is really he's a essentially I guess a poison personality as far as the media is concerned and you know, literally him just being at Trump's house now Trump's fucking ousted. You know, him being on the Alex Jones show, basically anywhere he goes, you know, they're trying to use him as that. And uh, you know, like I said Kanye's in a bad mental place. So really the you know, there's people saying that the obvious person that's the actual true intellectual with actual mastermind abilities be in this, you know, trifecta would be a uh, Milo, you know? Yeah. And you notice he's the one that gets mentioned the least because in reality, he's everything that Democrats would normally love about a person. Right. But, but his, his mind doesn't work like the average liberal. So they absolutely despise him. Well, while I believe the dude's a deviant, I'm with you. Highly intellectual. He wrote for Breitbart, you know, Read, read, read his stuff. He's mm -hmm. pretty good, man. Yeah. I was wondering how I was going to uh, make it even more extraordinary the second time I visited, but I think I might have pulled it off. <laughs> All right. And so, uh, I, I don't know, man. So what, what's your whole take on, on what's, uh, what's going on here? With uh, Do you really think it's, uh, you know, like a, I don't know, an uprising of anti-Semitism? Or do you think, uh, there, I don't know, there's some, some 40 chess being played here that, you know, we're not, we're not privy to all the knowledge of what's going on. Uh, I think that um, we're not supposed to know what's going on, and I think it's a little mix of, of both, man. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, I don't, it's, it's hard to work things with the overlords, right? All right. Um, I, I don't want to fuck with your channel, bro. But, um, you know, money is debt, man. You know, um, you know, 
uh, Europa, uh, the, the final frontier. I mean, there, there's a lot of different things that, you know, you could put in your head that will make you say and see exactly what they're talking about. We can see that Ron Emanuel was right next to Obama and then Jared Kushner was right next to Trump. Ta-da! But so and right. it's to me, it's not necessarily a hate for any particular group rather than pointing out a certain group's attributes or place in society, man. Right. And, um, you know, I, I, I mean, to me, it's it's pretty real. But his delivery, like we spoke about several individuals in the past, whether it's stress induced, whether it's, uh, you know, scarring from heavy drugs in the hospital. I, I don't know, man. But um, something's, you know, something's not <laughs> it's like normal with the delivery, you know, especially tonight with the, uh, you know, the mask on and, you know, what have you. And, uh, of course, you know, the yeah. baby raper clothes and, you know, <laughs> right. that, that, that shit. The, you know, the, the imagery was not doing it for me, man. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it's it's really kind of weird. I mean. I don't know. Obviously, if like in a, he's he's in a, the grips of a, a severe mental breakdown, and you know we're just really kind of watching the slow moving train wreck, man. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's going to be some pretty it interesting sucks shit. Because yeah, yeah, it really blows. Because I mean, like you know, we we spoke on the shit happens, bro. You go through shits. I mean, you, everybody's got a breaking point, mm-hmm. and um, you know, it, it sucks for him that his is being broadcast. Right. But at the same time, somebody needs to grab him up and do go in the bathroom, get your shit together, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So, what's your hey, thoughts? The Bible shit. I got a question for you, real quick. Yeah. The Bible stuff, right? Again, remember he was hospitalized, heavily sedated, right? Mm-hmm. And then, in, in anyone that has like prolonged, you know, drug experience, you know, from a, like an extended, sp- specific period, and you have something to pour your mind into, man, you can get lost in it really easily. Oh right? yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's be, uh... being, being a black. Being black in Chicago, I'm sure he was raised pretty religious. Grandma on the weekend and whatnot. Yeah. And in the hospital, that would be one book they would assuredly be able to and willing to hand you. Yep. And, you know, when you got him drugged out on lithium for weeks at a time and that's all he has. Right. Uh, yep. When you when you really uh, kind of uh, objectively, you know, observe religion and history together, it's, you know, like I say, when you look at it objectively and shit, it, it really does kind of a, it paints a mind boggling picture, you know, for a lot of people, you know, especially people that were raised very in very, uh, you know, religious homes and stuff like that. They were, you know, you know, taught everything, you know, every fucking room in the house had a Bible, you know, they were in church every Sunday and stuff like that. When uh, you actually look at, at history and, you know, don't want to hope, get into the whole, um, you know, history of religion and stuff right now. But uh, really, uh, you, you find out that there's a a lot of um if you look at it from a from a um what's what's the word uh skeptic point of view there's really kind of a, a lot to be skeptical about you know and a, a lot of people when they get into it it's really it really is a rabbit hole and it does kind of seem never ending you know especially once you start uh looking into you know oh well what has been hidden you know what has been a uh, yeah how much of history do we actually have recorded i mean even if you look back in modern history there's a you know stuff that right now they're trying to sweep under the rug or paint in a different light or uh you know uh, basically it, it history is written by the winner and so uh you really don't know whether the winner was actually good or bad you know and that really kind of yeah. kind of starts to fuck with you when you really start diving down the rabbit hole especially if you are on a number of drugs especially psych meds you know Mm-hmm. exactly man and you know I, I, and then obviously with the whole divorce thing i mean th- them basically taking his kids snatching his kids like he says in public and no one you know cared or you know right. even questioned it and replaced you with pete davidson <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, right. that's got to be rough man that's got to be yeah really hell rough. yeah <laughs> And he's already got yeah, your kids. Obviously, chicks dig that dude. Right, he's already <laughs> got fucking Kanye's kids tattooed on him and shit. Like, that's kind of kind of weird, if you ask me. But um, I guess he's got there the all the kids' initials tattooed on him. But he he's a weird dude. Fuck every fuck every fuck single fuck. every yeah. person that he's ever been with, he's he's had their names tattooed on him and then covered up, you know, right afterward. But yeah, <laughs> just about every relationship he's been in, weird he's, fuck, he's gotten man. a 
there's something related to them tattooed on him. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> dude, that's, that's gotta be rough watching that guy, um, bang your baby mama and raise your kids while you're paying $200,000 a fucking month, man. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's insane numbers right there, bro. And then there's, there's also, um, you know, just getting that, that label on you, you know, getting that anti-Semitic label put on you. You know, it, it really, uh, you know, it really does kind of show you who's in charge. It really does kind of puts you in your place, you know? And, uh, it, as you can yeah, see with, with Kanye, his fucking life, man. right. You can see with Kanye, he's it, the, the whole weight of the situation is really starting to kind of come down on him. So really Kanye is just an unstable man. Who's just, I'm fucked. <laughs> Society fucking hates me. I'm going to burn this motherfucker down while I can, you know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Running from platform to platform, dude, spouting some crazy shit and, and it's getting crazier by the day, man. All right. All right. Really? It went from running off because of they to rolling out in fucking full masks and trying to make puppets and shit. <laughs> I'm interested to see what's going to come next, man. Fucking Tim, <laughs> Tim was making a was making a, the assertion that Kanye could possibly fucking win. <laughs> Maybe we're going to see Kanye in 2024. That would uh. We're all gonna need a round of Brando to celebrate too, because <laughs> that's right. That's that, beyond idiocracy, man. That would speak levels for a uh, democracy, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, maybe, but at the same time, I mean, dude, is could he really be worse than bedridden's? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really? Right. <laughs> right. I don't know, man. It's it's a definitely a interesting turn of events going on here. But uh, I, I, you you want to say clown world, but it's beyond that at this point. It's yep. fucking the insane asylum. Yep. In here with the medicated. Yep. <laughs> it's fucking. I don't, I don't even know what to call it, dude. Like I say, it's it's uh definitely not the world that we grew up in. You know, it's like I say, it's going to be an interesting ride. Uh, I don't know. Historically, uh, I don't know. Societies don't tend to really last much longer than uh two hundred and some odd years, so. I don't know. We'll we'll see what the fuck is going on with America. But one thing I know is that uh, if Kanye gets elected, Jesus Christ, that is the end of fucking America right there, man. Good <laughs> lord, people. It's bad enough. Fucking. It's bad enough they got Fetterman. You know, it's bad enough we got fucking Fetterman in office, dude. But Jesus Christ, you put fucking Kanye in the Oval Office. <laughs> Did you see Bedridden's latest gaff today, man? Uh, no, it fits the bill, bro. He's on stage holding the mic. They play the music, the drop the mic moment, and that fool stands there for a second, and they're like, you got to go, and he just walks off with the mic, dude. <laughs> 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 Fucking bit red, man. And there's a full mic stand there with multiple, you know what I'm saying? Like, Fucking bit It was bro. hilarious. <laughs> right. Dude, that dude, I'm sure I'll be able to find the clip. I'll definitely throw it in right here. But dude, that that guy is he's a he's a I don't know like like fucking Stick says all the time. If he reported on every one of Biden's gaffes, it would literally be the Biden gaff channel, you know, because it's For literally sure. every single day, you know. But I don't know, it's it's definitely entertaining, you know. But you got anything else you wanna you wanna throw in, man? Just remember, regardless, man, what anybody says or fucking thinks, it's their right to say and think it. Come over and follow us on Alt Tech. Sounds veterans. Smell right. you later. All right. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you guys hit up uh, the Liberty Swine channel. Um, all of our links to all of our, uh, you know, YouTube's Alt Techs, like in social medias, all that shit's in the description and below. Um, yeah, we appreciate all you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and fuck off. Alex Jones pr producer said that Milo wanted to contact me and here we are so that's how you guys got in contact mm -hmm. uh, yeah originally and um, and then uh, I've suggested uh, 
um, that we bring in uh, Nicholas as a, as a enormous extra brain firepower that he is, um, he's most extraordinarily brilliant uh, political commentator of his generation, um, and he's uh, been treated just about as badly as anybody. So I thought he deserved to be in the room too. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how we all got together. Um, and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shook people down to a lot of really bad things. But they did good things too. We're going to stop dissing the Nazis all the time. Okay.